There's a 10 episode TV series called Snowpiercer that's coming to Netflix. Here's why that bothers me. Now, whenever anyone mentions Snowpiercer, I'm going to get all excited and say, oh, the film? And they'll say, no, the, uh, the TV show. And I've nothing against the show. You know, I've not even seen it. I'm sure it's going to be great. It's just frustrating how underrated this movie is. Literally, hardly anyone I know has even heard of it. It had almost zero marketing behind it. It wasn't even released in most cinemas, which is criminal. It is so good. And do you know whose fault it is that hardly anyone has even heard of this film? Harvey Weinstein. True story. The Weinstein Company, they brought the distribution rights for the film, uh, intending for a big worldwide release. However, Weinstein, he demanded that 20 minutes of footage be edited and opening and closing monologues be added. Here's the thing, the writer and director refused. And so the film was buried until a fan petition saw it eventually released, but not at the level this film deserved. By the way, that writer-director is Bong Joon-ho, who made Oscar history with four wins, including Best Picture with Parasite. Now, as you probably know, Parasite, it kind of deals with classes being divided, while Snowpiercer, it kind of deals with a similar topic. It's a story about the last remaining members of humanity in an apocalyptic future, who spend the rest of their days on an ever-moving train. The front of the train is reserved for the privileged who have access to restaurants, schools, doctors and the filtered sewage water generated from the first class that makes its way through to third class passengers at the end of the train who by the way dine on insect based black protein bars. And obviously they want better, they want equality and so the film it sees them battling their way to the front of the train. Are you Nam Goon Sue? Security specialist? We control the engine, we control the world. This time we take the engine. Then what? We kill him. Amongst the lower class members is Captain America himself, Chris Evans, who, by the way, gives one of the best performances of his career. Literally every cast member gives this their all, and what a cast. This film also stars Octavia Spencer, along with John Hurt and Ed Harris, who each have multiple Oscar nominations. And Jun Ho as well, he did a fantastic job blending science fiction with action, with a film that just literally feels different to anything else out there. And credit to the filmmaker for not compromising his artistic direction. It's kind of ironic that the film is about sticking it to the man, and that's exactly what he did with Weinstein. Sure, as a result, not as many people saw the film, but those that have seem to love it, and I'm definitely one of them. I give it a solid 4.5 out of 5. I highly recommend you check it out. It literally is unlike anything else. This wouldn't feel out of place at an art house cinema and a huge multiplex cinema. And check out the TV show as well. I know it sounds like I was hating on it earlier. I don't know, it could be great. I love the concept of the film. I think there's so much more they could do with it. So it will be interesting to see what the show does. But yeah, what are your thoughts on Snowpiercer? I'd love to know in the comments below. I look forward to seeing you next time. I bloody love you. Until then. Passengers. belong to the front. You belong to the tail. Keep your place.